Morning, folks. Tell you what, I've been busy all day and doesn't seem like I'm getting anywhere. But I am. I'm this place here, there's less than there was. You can at least kind of walk in here again. There's bare floor in places. But what a mess. <laughs> uh, it's really hard, I'm finding out, to film anything and get anything done too. So I haven't been doing that. <laughs> but uh, I've been thinking about all this wolf stuff. Mostly I'm okay with it. The you know the shorter season and things as a trapper you know the summertime stuff other than damage control I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be chasing them too badly in the summertime anyway and I'm working anyhow but the pelts are no good you know and they're they're gonna have pups and things and in, in the spring and I'm not into basically killing anything just because a lot of folks are very anti-wolf and they're they'll be mad about that I suppose but that's okay that's your opinion and I got mine you got a right to be wrong so do I so as far as not uh, not having the season open until December I think that's a little late, especially since we really don't have any grizzly bears in this area anyway, but uh, I would have liked to have seen them go back to the November 15th opening day, but really that's only two weeks earlier anyhow. It used to be, when they first started the wolf trapping, it used to be November 15th until the end of March. And uh, then they pushed it back to October 10th until the end of March. Then they pushed it back again to September 10th until the end of March. Now they're going from December 1st until February 28th. So we lose March. We lose... October, well, September, October, November. A lot of years, depending on the year, this year, it probably wouldn't have been, oops, let's see, that's the wrong bunch of keys. Um, I'll tell you what, <laughs> wait till you see this wad of keys I have for this place. I hope they're in here. Yeah, they are. Um, Look at that. You don't want to fall in the river with that wad of keys. Anyhow, uh, what the heck was I talking about? The, uh, oh, this year, waiting until uh, December probably wouldn't have been a big deal. The last couple of years, you could probably still get up the up the mountain to where I've been going um, a lot of years you can't there's no way you can't even come close so that's gonna cause some difficulty let's see that's the right key that's gonna cause some difficulties that's gonna end up uh, come on there we go it's going to make things a lot more difficult as far as um, access. I do have a snowmobile. Jeff has that side by side with the tracks on it. If he's not in need of it, I can borrow that most likely. I really don't like borrowing things though. Whenever I borrow something, it seems like it breaks down. That, uh, that little bogey wheel that come off and got lost someplace. Uh, it came in the mail the other day. I haven't been able to get a chance to put it back on yet. But that little wheel alone, it's only five inches around. Um, 
$50 and another $20 for the freight so $70 and it's not my machine you know it, I mean I don't mind paying that because he's nice enough to loan it to me but what if the engine blew I don't have money to fix that and you know it's not right to blow up somebody else's equipment so I gotta I gotta figure out a way to be able to get up and down the mountain with my own stuff that old black Ford Ranger I've got I've been thinking about that and it has some problems and uh, that's one of the reasons I kind of gave up on it but it does run <laughs> so you gotta really think I'm crazy here but I might I might try to turn that into a kind of like an Argo put tracks on it uh, homemade tracks and I don't know if I can work it with that or with something else but that's kind of in my thoughts a lot of people make their own tracked vehicles in fact there's a much as I hate Facebook there is some good info on there there is a group called um, personal tracked vehicles take a look at that if you get a chance there's all sorts of people making small tracked snowmobiles and things that are double track a lot of them are for dirt and things or basically go-karts with tracks on them and they're homemade it doesn't look that hard well anyway that's just kind of some thoughts I got anyhow I gotta get this place swept out this is the ticket office uh, for the fair they sell tickets through this window to different events and things and this room Cindy's already put a few of her cleaning supplies in here but this room doesn't really get a lot of use till later in the year the main electrical panels are in here so I can't block that this this back room is just sort of a storage area and mice have been into it. I've been working on this today and a couple of days ago getting uh, this cleaned out. It had a bunch of probably 70s TVs and things in here. Years ago they used to televise the rodeo at the beer booths and things so that people could uh, sell beer and hamburgers and not miss the rodeo but the fellow that was doing that, he died, <laughs> and nobody really took up on it. So that's been a thing of the past. But some of this equipment, look at this, this thing, I wonder how old that is. Speakers don't look like that anymore. I would guess that's probably 1950s, 1960s. I know nothing about it at all. But, anyhow, there's a guy I know that kind of collects that stuff, so I think I'll give that to him. His fairboard doesn't want it. So, anyway, get this swept out and move some stuff in here. So when I got this job, they gave me a coffee can full of keys, and they told me that uh, all these keys fit something, we think. <laughs> so, I went through them and uh, tried all the keys on all the locks I could find, got rid of the ones that didn't work anymore, and uh, bought, an, bought a letter and number stamp and uh, numbered as much as I could, or wrote down like this one here, this is the the ticket office so it says tick tick off on it because they didn't have a room for a whole ticket office but all of the padlocks I put a number on and I put a number on the key too and that helped but man I still got a big wad of keys and I still got half a coffee can that I think I can throw away but every now and then I can't find a key to a lock and I gotta go and search and find one in that pile 
So, kind of ridiculous. I wish we had everything key to like. I didn't think about when I put up that wall tent I didn't think about this building and this room being kind of open and uh, I don't know I might not need my tent now after all I'd kind of prefer not to is being out in the weather like that it's gonna probably ruin it but uh, most of summer is pretty dry, but it's probably going to be a, an all summer thing. Part of the reason I went ahead and put that up is my cousin was here and I had help. Oh, so, I don't know. <laughs> I wish I had a shed. You know, we had all winter to come up with one and don't have any place to put this stuff. Paper towels are heavier than they look like they should be. Anyway, I got them six or eight more of these to come back in, but uh, nothing much going on here. Just getting things ready for the opening on Monday. So, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.